Well, that was the worst game week we've ever seen. If there was ever a game week to round off 2020 as a year, it was game week 16. What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to have a look at game week 15 to start with. We didn't quite see how I finished that week and what it did to my ranks. We'll look at that, have a look at game week 16, how it's going so far, but it's not looking great. And then finally moving on to what really is important, game week 17, my captain, my team, and most importantly, my transfers. If you do like the video, please make sure to smash that like button. Let's again aim for that 50 like mark and subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications for future videos. But let's get into it. So we've got a lot to cover, but let's have a quick glimpse at my game week 15 transfers. So I sold Lamperty, who was injured for that game week and is still out injured. And I sold Jack Grealish, who was blank twice since selling him. In their places, I bought Andrew Robertson, who almost got a clean sheet in this game week, but didn't with that late goal from West Brom, and Suchek, who came in with a 10-pointer. I expected the two that I brought in to outscore the two that I sold, but I did not expect it to be this way around, but very pleased with how that went and these transfers went for game week 15. So a quick look at how my game week 15 team actually got on. So Martinez with a 10 in goal, a great return for him. And Carl Walker-Peters 8 in defence with a two standout defensive point scorers for me. But Robertson and Chilwell, the two more premium assets, both scored very low with a 2 and 1 between them, indicating that there is a lot of value in those cheap defenders as well this year. Into the midfield, Suchek, my second highest scorer with 10, and Bruno being the other standout scorer with 12 but Son, De Bruyne and Captain Salah all blanking was not really what I wanted but it didn't hinder my overall score too much. Up front, Bamford again returning points, 8 for me in game week 15 and just 1 from Calvert-Lewin. I will think about selling him in the upcoming game weeks but again Bamford doing the business. Overall score of 62 which gave me a great game week rank of 400,000 moved my overall score up to 969, a really strong green arrow from 35k up to 20k so really happy with how game week 15 went. So moving on to my game week 16 transfers now, I actually made no transfers here, there was so much rotation to be talked about, so many players were doubt, so many games were in doubt that I just decided to leave my team as is and go into game week 17 with two free transfers. I am actually happy that I made this decision, transfers that I could have made in selling De Bruyne and selling Calvert-Lewin looked like they would have paid off if I had made them, but having two transfers for game week 16, looking at the amount of teams that may have no fixture with the amount of postponed games it is the best strategy that I could have made. Into how my game week 16 team has performed so far. So we've still got three players left to play. Robertson who is rumoured to be on the bench this evening but you'll probably know more than me at time of viewing this video. Captain Salah away at Newcastle and Son with Fulham at home. 34 points so far for me, it's been pretty underwhelming. I've had to call on all of my bench with Balbuena being rested, even though there was a clean sheet for West Ham, Calvert-Lewin and KDB with their fixtures cancelled. So 34 overall with a current game week rank of 4.5 million, which means I'm currently not qualifying for the FPL Cup. It does move my overall score up to over 1,000, 1,003 with three players left to play but it is a red arrow this week, down to 25k. Fingers crossed that these three players left to play, or two if Robertson doesn't feature, can push me back up to where I was at the start of the game week. So, now let's have a look at some potential transfers for game week 17. So, I do have two free transfers for game week 17, so I am free to move around and upgrade some players and downgrade another. It is Calvert-Lewin and De Bruyne that are on the chopping board for me this week. Calvert-Lewin has been disappointing and yes he had that blank game week in game week 16 but is likely to play again in game week 17. De Bruyne we are still unsure about whether that Man City fixture against Chelsea will take place but at the moment he also does not have a double game week in game week 19 so De Bruyne is a premium asset I am not looking to hold for the upcoming game week so Calvert-Lewin and De Bruyne are the ones I'm looking to transfer out. And in their place, I'm thinking of Jamie Vardy and James Ward Prowess of Southampton. Jamie Vardy has a great fixture against Newcastle in game week 17. He was also rested in game week 16. And on top of this, a strong double game week in game week 19 makes Vardy a very appealing asset to me. The other one, James Ward Prowess, again, a double game week. He's on set pieces for Southampton. They've looked 
poor recently actually in goal scoring form but with the amount of balls he puts into the box from corners and free kicks there's always potential for returns from James Will Prowess especially with that double game week in game week 19. So just to summarise that it would be Calvert-Lewin and De Bruyne out and Vardy and James Will Prowess in in their places. So if those were the potential transfers that I would make, how would it actually mean my team would line up for game week 70? Just before we get into the final section of this video, this video is sponsored by Fancy Football Hub. They have great stats, articles, comparison tools, fixture tickers, and so much more. From just two pounds a month, you can improve your FPL game. There is a link in the description which will give you 15% off. If you are interested, go and check it out. Available online and in the app store. Enjoy, now let's get back to the video. So finally, let's have a look at my game week 17 team. So if I make the two free transfers that I currently plan on making of Calvert-Lewin and De Bruyne to Jamie Vardy and War Prowess, how will my team line up for game week 17? In goal, as always, we will have Martinez. Now he's got some tricky fixtures coming up, but I look to keep him in my team. He's making saves. Aston Villa look really strong defensively. It is Manchester United away, but Martinez will stay in goal for me. In defence, I've got Mitchell, Robertson and Balbuena. Now, I'm currently planning on starting Mitchell. He did start game week 16 as Patrick Van Aanholt got a rest at left back for Crystal Palace. But with that Sheffield United at home fixture, it's too good to turn down an opportunity. If he doesn't play, he'll go back on my bench and someone will auto sub in for him. But I've got to take the risk on him playing that fixture. Robertson, as always, will start for me, Southampton away. And Balbuena, there is a little bit of doubt about whether he will get his place back after Dawson of West Ham put in such a strong performance. But game week 17, Mitchell, Robertson and Balbuena are my current thinking as a back three. So into the midfield, we start with Suchek. He had a good opportunity to score in game week 16 as well as scoring in game week 15. There's always goal threat from him, so he stays in my starting lineup. Salah, Southampton away and ever present in my team. Salah's not going anywhere. War Prowess, my new transfer in, does have Liverpool at home, but it is that double game week that I'm looking to target. So he does come in and start for me this game week. Son and Bruno, as always, ever presence in my team. Bruno is so consistent, but Son with that Leeds at home fixture, the amount of chances that Leeds are creating does leave them open to chances conceded as well. So Son is getting my vice captaincy this week. Onto the forward line, Patrick Bamford stays there as always, Tottenham away, but Leeds are creating so many chances that there is always potential for Bamford and his teammates to get on the score sheet. And new transfer in, Jamie Vardy gets a captaincy armband for me. Newcastle away, it's a great fixture. Jamie Vardy's just come off, off a rest, so he's my captain currently for game week 17 if I do the transfers of Calvert-Lewin and De Bruyne to Jamie Vardy and James Ward-Prowess. So that's all we've got time for on this video. I hope you found it useful. Good luck in game week 17 guys. If you have enjoyed, please be make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications for future videos, but that's all we've got time for today. Good luck guys and I'll see you all next time.